Aloha! Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. My name is Terry Edmonds and we are in a part of my workshop in my shoe store called If The Shoe Fits in Maui, Hawaii. I specialize in shoe repair and custom footwear. In this video, if you found me, you're interested in learning how to dye leather black like I have right here in this lovely coat. <laughs> So if you want to see all the tips and tools on how to do it just like a professional, stay tuned. Um, I have a very special project here. This is a leather coat. Um, I have taken a picture of the before for you. And now we see the after. And this happens to be a gentleman, a client of mine, his dad passed away and this was his father's leather coat. And I know it's hard to see with the lighting, my white hair and this black jacket, the, my camera doesn't pick it up so well, but I'll show you some close ups on it. Um, but this was a whole renovation on this jacket. I, there, there were holes in the cuffs there were, the whole lining had to be uh, taken out because it had just shredded. So I did some trimming on it. I really tightened things up a bit. Uh, when the lining was going through here, um, it had just left kind of a mess. And so I glued it, cleaned it up, cut off some of the extra mess that he didn't need. And like I said, just kind of tightened up the look a little bit. Um, I did patches on holes that had appeared in the sleeve and um, so that's kind of the start to getting a good uh, dye job. So the first step that I recommend is looking at the uh, quality of the material. What kind of shape is it in? From the picture that I showed you, this whole part, especially the sleeves on this coat, were completely worn. They were almost like a white gray that the, all the color had come off. So step one, I conditioned the entire coat to soften it up, make it a little more pliable and easy to work with. In old leather like this, I always do this. And I use this product, which I put a link in the video down below, or if you click this link here, this will take you to my website with the full list. Or down below in the description, you'll see a link. But this is the Cadillac Boot and Shoe Cream. I use it for everything. This stuff is fantastic. It'll really bring back old, cracked, dry leather. You just might need to do it a couple of times and let it soak. I apply it with a um, old t-shirt, so that's super easy, something you can do at home. Once I let that dry, I went ahead and applied the um, dye. In this video, I used the Lincoln Leather Dye, which is really nice. You, uh, it works fantastic. You do need to wear a respirator because it is very, very uh, smelly and toxic. So I say get a nice, you know, they always recommend a nice open space. I use a respirator. I used on this. However, I carry a full line of the Angelus products because Angelus is kind of the new up and coming thing. They don't smell as bad. So that's, they make them, and I still find that the color, the pigment's great. So I have on the Angelus, I have had to do more than one coat. Uh, this, I only needed one coat. And if you saw the condition of this jacket in that picture, I'll show it again. It was pretty beat up. And so one coat is great. I didn't have to put any product on after that except the Cadillac um, conditioner again. I take this and 
it cleans up and gives it a more unified look and gets rid of any residue from the dye. So I applied this and I'm going to show you um, that I used a nice big white paintbrush and I actually found one on Amazon for you and included that in the link because it's such a big surface. Um, usually the dyes come with a dauber on the inside and it's a small dauber, you know, one of these wool daubers. I've shown these before. And you can get to get the daubers a little bit bigger, but to cover something like this with a nice even tone, um, as you'll see in that little video I showed you, it's a, uh, I do nice long sweeps of it. So I do recommend if you are a craftsman like me and you do a lot of extra dyeing or thinking about it, go ahead and invest in that brush. It'll, it'll really serve you well. So Angelus, I love that. Um, this coat originally had some red paint from his dad's red paint was on there. And you can still see some little marks here on the coat. Um, we were kind of hoping that the red would actually show through a little bit just to add this kind of a dimension and element and, you know, um, the sense that his dad actually used this coat. Um, the dye is so good it covered most of it. There's little remnants, but if they wanted a perfect look and didn't want those little spots to come through and the dye doesn't cover it, I would have gone to our Angelus paint supply here and get a black acrylic leather paint. And I've promoted this before. I will also put this link down below, um, but I would have covered up a couple of little spots with a paintbrush and just kind of uh, blotted it on there so it, it didn't look like it was painted with a streak, but yet kind of blended. So those three products, it was really an easy uh, project just applying the color. So uh, the gentleman, um, is going to be picking this up today. I'm really excited because it was really special to him and dear to him. And um, if you have any questions, you can always uh, write me in the link below, you know, leave a comment about some of the other changes that I did to the coat. I did a lot of work to this to um, make it look as beautiful as possible with the leather patches and stuff, but I won't show you that in this video. It's really just about dyeing. So it's a real quick tutorial for you. I hope that helped a little bit. It's pretty easy. So, especially with black. Um, anyway, black, if you did something on white, you might have to do two coats, um, but basically it was already black. So you can dye things darker, but you can't make them lighter. So you wanna keep that in mind when you're picking your color. And um, I will leave you with the beautiful uh, video of the client wearing his coat. Yay! <music>